I'm testing this motion sensing light. I'm about seven feet away and as I approach it, it turns on. The motion sensor and all the electronics and the battery is enclosed in the soup container. And I added a solar panel on top so that it can be solar recharged. This kind of uh, container probably wouldn't last um, for too long, but they're easy to come by and I can very quickly replace ones that are worn out. They'll probably last at least a few months. See uh, what's inside the container. This is a more or less traditional night light. And uh, this is, I think, a 6 volt, maybe um, 100 MA solar panel. I'm not sure exactly. And what it does is charging one single battery in here. This is the any loop battery. And this is a voltage booster. So the solar panel charges the battery. There's no controller because um, the capacity of the solar panel is really small and I'm not going to put this under direct sunlight so uh, most likely it's not going to it's not going to overcharge it. If I leave it under direct sunlight there, there could be a problem because um, I left it uh, for maybe like 20 minutes the battery voltage went from uh, 1.32 to over 1.5 so it charged it up pretty quickly in direct sunlight so for my purpose I'm not going to use this setup in an area where it gets sunlight all day long in fact the reason I made this light or uh, put it in a container like this is I have a part of the driveway that really gets no sunlight but it also has to have some kind of uh, illumination so this would be good for it I'm gonna test it out for a few days to see what kind of charge it will get with uh, just maybe like um, an hour or two of sunlight and then the rest would be more like indirect uh, charging. This is the motion sensor that I took out from uh, Harper Freight Unit. I have the making of this light in another video of mine. It's USB powered and the single battery is sufficient to light up the LED because the uh, voltage is boosted from 1.3 to 5 volts and then and then uh, that would be enough to power the LEDs. It's pretty bright. I measured the voltage of the LEDs at the base of the LED and they measure 2.97 volt and I also used the charger doctor to measure the current draw I use this and basically I couldn't even get a reading from this because the current current draw was so low so I think it should work well and the easy thing is just put everything back into the container the motion sensor doesn't have to be ultra sensitive in fact uh, as long as it works within say six or seven feet that's fine I don't want it to be overly sensitive and the container won't be too hot because it will be in a somewhat shaded area and it won't get that much sunshine over the course of the day and it is brighter than your normal uh, store-bought yard light 
And uh, I'm gonna, like I said, test it out and uh, update my video in the description uh, to let you know how well it works. It's uh, the motion sensing light will turn the light on for about 40 seconds. So it's not gonna consume that much electricity because it will turn off after 40 seconds. And um, you would think, oh, uh, 40 seconds is not a long time. Actually, 40 seconds is is a long time. If you, you know, you can uh, try counting from one to 40, then you know how long 40 seconds is. That should be enough for you um, to get your keys and open your doors or or whatnot. So this is another this another motion sensing light. Um, there's a lot of uh, area to cover in the uh, driveway and backyard. Alright, thanks for watching.